Welcome back, everybody, to Neuralnet.ai. I am your host, Phil Tabor. In today's episode, we're going to talk about where to get a PC for deep learning. But first, I want to give a shout out to a subscriber, Terrence, who has started his own YouTube channel, the Computer Vision Lab. Everybody, go ahead. Have, everybody, go ahead and uh, head over there, uh, subscribe, comment, like his stuff, show some support for a member of the community who's taken the initiative to make his own channel. Uh, so the question is always, do you build your own, purchase a PC, or if you purchase, how do you do that? Where do you get it from? So uh, there are a number of options. So this is Lambda Labs. I've seen lots of ads on Facebook uh, by these guys. Uh, they make a number of custom-built PCs for the express purpose of deep learning, and they charge a rather hefty premium for this service. Whether or not that is, uh, you know, worthwhile is up to you. It all depends on your comfort level with DevOps and getting things up and running. Uh, let's scroll down and see what type of prices we're talking about. You can see their entry level desktop is $7,400. And if you take a look at the specs, you get an i9 9820X, 10 cores, 3.3 gigahertz. So that's 20 threads. That's quite a lot of horsepower. Do you need that for deep learning? Probably not. Uh, if you're doing a lot of pre-processing of the data, you can take advantage of more threads, but the 9820X is going to be, excuse me, quite pricey. So for my, in my mind, that's not, uh, that's not so great. Uh, two RTX 2080 Ti's is, is of course awesome. 64 gigs of RAM, pretty good. Two terabyte SSD, four terabyte hard drive. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. But 7,400 bucks, mm, I'm not so sure. If you upgrade to their mid tier, you're looking at something like $11,500. And that gets you a couple Titans instead of a couple 2080 Ti's. Now, whether or not that's gonna be worthwhile really depends on what you're doing. If you're doing uh, computer vision where you're dealing with large image sizes, you know, large resolutions, then that may very well be worthwhile. Remember, the Turing GPUs uh, have the capacity to use half precision, so that effectively doubles your RAM. So this 11 gigabytes on the 2080 Ti can be 22 if you use if you take advantage of mixed precision calculations. Likewise, for the Titan, you can get 48 gigs out of each GPU, and of course, if you combine them in NVLink, I believe it pulls a RAM together, only for the most current generation of GPU, though. And if you upgrade to the Quadro as well, that's a pretty friggin' penny at thirty-one, thirty-two thousand dollars. Let's call it. That's not. Let's let's round that up. Thirty-two thousand dollars for a Quadro setup, one hundred twenty-eight gigs of RAM. You know, uh, that's high end. That's startup territory. That's you've got people funding you, backing you. Uh, now, if you're a subscriber to this channel and you're just a hobbyist and enthusiast, this obviously is going probably. I'm guessing is going to be outside of your price range. Uh, another vendor for these sorts of systems is uh, Exact. Never heard of these guys. I just did a Google search and found them. But again, the prices are similar. You're getting eight thousand, thirteen thousand, and then you know if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Level. So uh, we see a trend here. If you're going to buy these high-end, custom-built, deep learning rigs, you're going to be paying a pretty penny. Now. The more affordable option for those of you that don't want to build your own is to buy a gaming PC. And the reason is that there is a huge amount of overlap between gaming hardware and deep learning hardware. Uh, and of course, that's because if you're doing gaming, you need a beefy GPU. If you're doing deep learning, you need a beefy GPU. And here your options are much more palatable. You're looking at, you know, 700 all the way up to two, three thousand dollars, depending on how you spec it out. Um, this is a great option. The only real downside is that it runs Windows. Uh, so you would have to install Linux or try to get by on Windows, which um, as of the filming of this video is a viable option. Uh, TensorFlow works on Windows. I believe PyTorch does as well. They, that didn't always used to be the case, but uh, they do now. So you can get PyTorch, TensorFlow running. That's good enough to get started. And if you decide you want to really get deep into it, then you can install Linux and take that leap. Another vendor is CyberPowerPC. Again, they sell pre-built gaming rigs uh, that light up like a friggin' Christmas tree, if that's your thing. It is mine, I'll ha I have to admit. Uh, another vendor is uh, Alienware. They are really well known. They started out as a custom PC builder and were purchased by Dell, and that's who you buy from. These guys are great because they have the backing of Dell, they've been in the business a long time, and the prices are relatively reasonable for what you are getting. Now, my preferred option is the do-it-yourself. No, not electric scooters, but uh, PCs. So 
you can save a rather significant amount by specking out and assembling your own PC. If you ever played with Legos as a child, if you were able to assemble even the most simple of things, then you are more than capable of building your own PC. All the parts are idiot proof, they just snap together. Um, the only real danger is from static discharge. Just don't go running around on your carpet in your socks and you should be fine. Uh, I have my own custom built PC. Uh, that would be probably twice as much if I were to purchase it through a vendor. Uh, for me, this is a hobby. The time spent doing it is just time I enjoy, so I don't factor that in. Now, if you're a busy professional, uh, if your time could be spent consulting, making money, then it makes a fair amount of sense to buy something pre-built. But there you have it, three different options for uh, building your own, or sorry, acquiring your own deep learning uh deep learning rig. Uh, those are, of course, getting the pre-built rigs, spending a huge amount of money for even the most basic of systems, purchasing a uh, basic but nicely specced out gaming PC. The downside there is that you're going to run Windows, or my preferred option is building your own. Uh, YouTube is rife with tutorials on how to do that. I don't need to make a tutorial on that. You guys can find that information on your own, but that's my preferred option. You're going to save the most amount of money. You're going to learn the most about setting up the system as well as getting all of your drivers and everything set up uh, to make sure the system actually works. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to head over to Terrence's channel and subscribe, the Computer Vision Lab. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment, and if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next video.